What's going on guys? Welcome back for another Chivalry 2 Weapon Guide. Today we're going to be talking about a less common weapon compared to things like the Halberd and the Longsword, but something that could be equally as devastating as any of the best weapons in the game. The Heavy Mace. The Heavy Mace is wielded by the Knight Officer and is often more overlooked than other weapons, but is typically brought into battle by warriors that really know what they're doing. If you see one of these crushing knights running towards you, prepare for a harder battle than usual. People that use this weapon are extra sweaty, which I can attest to from personal experience of being an absolute tryhard with the Heavy Mace. Diving into the in-game stats, the Heavy Mace has 50% reach, 50% speed, and deals around 33% damage. These stats don't really speak to how awesome it can be, but they do represent an extremely balanced blunt weapon in terms of general ability. The Heavy Mace boasts the typical blunt damage modifier, dealing quite a bit more to knights and footmen, so this bonus damage also increases the survivability of people who wield this weapon. But looking at this graphic from the creator of Pullhammer.net, the true stats are definitely different than the in-game stats would lead one to believe, with 60% reach, 42% speed, and up to 80% damage, the Heavy Mace is a significantly deadlier weapon than assumed by just following the in-game stats. The gameplay I'm showing should represent this quite well, since it doesn't seem like a baseline weapon based on the hits landed and damage dealt throughout each of these games I recorded. Based on the two-handed blunt weapon comparison on Pullhammer.net, we can see that the measurement for speed stats have changed a bit since we last viewed a comparison on the website. This time, we have new categories like Windup, Release, Recovery, and Turn Limit Strength, which are all ways that the speed stats affect performance of the weapons. So, looking at all these numbers next to the other two-handed blunt weapons, we see that the Heavy Mace is quite literally the middle ground in almost every category. It isn't nearly the fastest or deadliest blunt weapon in the game, but that means we have something that is completely reliable and easier to master than other two-handed blunt weapons that might excel in one category like speed, range, or damage. While the Heavy Mace might not be the most damaging of the two-handed blunt weapons, it does deal the same average heavy damage as the ones that could be considered the most deadly specifically the Maul and Pole Hammer. Having the same overhead, heavy slash, and stab damage as the Pole Hammer means that it excels in very similar combat situations, and it does have the highest recovery time, allowing you to achieve the four hits required to kill in about the same time the other weapons achieve their three hits required to kill. But for all of these weapons, it's very unlikely that it'll take this many hits to end a fight. Next, we'll take it back to the in-game stats and analyze the Heavy Mace's perks. First, we have faster combo times, which allows you to initiate hits one after another and quickly chain attacks together. Increased stamina negation on block will allow you to block more before losing your weapon or having to create distance to regen stamina, which will provide a longer time spent in combat compared to other weapons and hopefully cause you to drain your opponent's stamina and disarm them before they do the same to you. And finally, as with all other blunt weapons in Chivalry 2, we have basic attack stop on contact which will allow you to initiate follow-up hits faster, but also prevent you from swinging through opponents and striking multiple enemies at once. All these aspects tied together give you an extremely useful blunt weapon, one that can absolutely devastate any enemy that tries to mess with you on the battlefield. The perks all speak to one another and allow the wielder to run through 1v1 combat and dispatch multiple opponents in quick succession, but typically leads to harder 1vx situations than something with the blade at the end of it. As always, let's talk about a useful combo, which for the Heavy Mace would be Slash Overhead Slash Stab Overhead. Like other weapons we've covered on this channel, overheads are great finishing moves and can deal a massive amount of damage to anything, specifically by focusing a large damage pool onto the enemy's weakest point, their head. Keeping all this in mind, all in all, the Heavy Mace is not the shining star of the blunt weapon category, but it is an extremely fun weapon to use. I'd recommend it to anyone looking for something new or something reliable, and I hope this guide helps inspire the future popularity of this weapon, as opposed to something common and boring like the Messer or Dane Axe. Well, that's it for me. Again, I hope this video helped, and if it did, please be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe for more future weapon guides. I'm also getting into other games for the channel, including the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, so check those videos out if that's the kind of thing you're into. Thanks for watching everyone, I appreciate you all, and I'm very thankful to all of you for getting me so close to a thousand subs. Hopefully, by the time this video is all published, I've reached my goal and am moving on to the next one. Take it easy, and take care. Chronic, out.